guess it's sunscreen. You awake this morning? Yeah. Barely? No, I'm good. You good? It is 5.16 a.m. with Matt today. We're gonna be doing some big things. We're gonna go after some toothy critters. Some I haven't caught yet this year. This lake has been kind of off for me. I think I've been there twice, maybe three times. Hadn't done all that great, so we're gonna give it another shot. It's 70 degrees, so I'm thinking that this warm weather might uh might help. But Matt needs an energy drink, so we've got a 30 minute drive ahead of us. We should be there right around sunrise or so. I got the old John boat. Actually, I want you guys to comment a name for my boat. I need a, I need a name for the boat so I can just refer to it. Like, like Rob's the Hello Kitty boat, my little tin John boat. What should uh, what should the name? Comment down below. We are gonna get some energy drinks and then go to the lake. I got, I got, I got loyalty, got loyalty Woo! We made it. Oh wow. This might be really good. This might be really good. It is cloudy. It is 548. So we made made good time. It's windy and cloudy. Top water's probably not gonna happen all that much. I'm not sure. It just kind of depends on where we go on the lake. I've got a very good feeling though, like like a gut feeling today, it, we're just gonna crush it. I don't wanna jinx anything, but out of all the times I've been here this year, today today is gonna be the day, folks. We're gonna put the old boat in the water. Like I said, comment a name for this boat. This is what it looks like. It's just a nice tin little John boat. Comment a name, I want a name for it. And uh, I'm gonna quit talking so we can go fishing. All right, it is windy. So I don't know if this is gonna be the best call in the world, but I'm gonna try a little top water, see if there's anything active. Matt's throwing a chatterbait. We'll see if there's anything up on these rocks. The wind's blowing into these rocks. Anytime you can find wind blowing rocks is usually a good thing because that blows all the microorganisms in the water, in which that's what the bait fish feed off of. And then the bass feed off the bait fish. So we'll see if we can catch fish here. Yep, should have caught one by now. If they were up here eating top water, so I'll try my crankbait. If we are going to throw a buzzbait anywhere, we should go to the dam, because it'd be calm. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I've never started off the dam, so I don't know if it's any good. But that's where we should should go if we want top water. There's one. There's one. Yep. Second cast on the crankbait. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yep, that's a big one. There we go. God, look how fat that thing is. Straight up football, dude. They're so, they're feeding hard. Either feeding or freaking pregnant, one of the two. I knew they were up on these rocks, the wind blowing up in them. Look how fat that is, dude. Big old chunker. Lisa, see you later. Second cast on the crankbait. Always trust your gut, guys. My gut was telling me it's a little too windy for the buzz bait and to pick up, uh, pick up the old crankbait and it worked. That's good, that's a good sign. I think with that girl being that fat that there's gonna be plenty more of them just like that. There's one, another one. He's small, there's a little, what the heck? Walleye, are you serious right now? I got a freaking walleye. Okay, well, we got dinner tonight, folks. Right where I caught the five pounder last year. Oh, I got one. Uh, yeah, actually I do. I think it might be a good one. Dude, that's giant. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the uh, biggest bass I've ever seen come out of here. I thought it was a six. Yeah, it looks You see how fat that thing is though? Dude, that's like the fattest bass I've ever seen in my entire life. Pretty close to the same day. There's a fish. Yeah, there. that's a good one. Oh yeah. That's a big, that's a big one. Holy crap, dude. Dude, that's a big one. Look at that, look at that. Look, it came with a crankbait, same color. I've never seen that in my entire life. This is my crankbait, that is not my crankbait. That is hilarious, dude. Look at that. I got a free crankbait. I have never seen that before. That is crazy. Same color and everything, just a little bit smaller sized. Caught that big old girl. That's that's a three pounder for sure. Three, eight, six, almost a four. It's pretty big. That is a chunky 
chunky old girl right there. Okay. All right, Piggy, see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. That was fun. I caught a free crankbait. Woohoo! The wind's just blowing us. There's one. Yep. There's one. Got him on the jig out deep. Another good fish. Oh, God, that's a four-pounder. Yeah. Oh, uh, she's light, actually. She looks four. She doesn't feel four. I'm going to toss her on the scale, like I said, just for just for fun. She's three-something. She looks like she might be bigger, but she doesn't feel that heavy. I'd guess right at three and a half or so. Look at that. I said, what did I say, three and a half? We got three... Three, four, two, pretty much right at three and a half. Not a freaking bad one, dude. That's a chunker. That was out deep. We were just about to stop moving, or we were about, just about to move different spots, and I wanted to throw this jig out deep a little bit, and ended up catching old Sally here. See you later, little girl. She's good to go. That was on a jig, on a little, little black and blue jig of the crawl on the back. Again, just throwing around rocks. This wind's freaking blowing like crazy. If you guys can hear the motor, we have to use the gas motor so we don't burn up the trolling motor all day. Finally caught a fish. I knew I knew there was some out there. I could see them down on the graph. You just gotta get it in front of their face and they'll, uh, and they'll eat it. Oh, I have a fish. I didn't know I had a fish. It's like, why is this a little heavy? It's because there's a fish attached to it. It's on a little deep crankbait fish there. I uh, switched it up from that jig, gave Matt my jig to toss around a little bit and uh, decided to throw the crank for a try. And Again, last cast before we want to go move and throw buzz baits. And I catch one. Pretty little guy though, I'll take him. Nice little little morning, morning deep crank fish. I'll show you guys a little crankbait I'm throwing here. They seem to like the chartreuse at this lake, so I'm throwing a little a little chartreuse blue back action. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make like another cast, but I'm not gonna stay here. I wanna go catch a buzzbait fish. It's kind of a goal for today, so. Make a couple more casts, but we wanna go to catch some topwater fish. Oh, fishing line. Oh, I caught a jig. It's just my lucky day. We're, fi we're filling the tackle box here as we're catching fish. This one is uh, for sure a keeper. Sixty-two degree water. There's a fish. That's a fish. Yeah, buddy. Finally, about thirty minutes of freaking chaos, getting hung up in the rocks and stuff. It's a decent one too. Come on, buddy. Woo! Fatty, dude. Fatty. Look at just barely, barely hooked right there, right in the corner of his mouth. Had me nervous for a second. I think that's like my fourth one, maybe. Look how fat that little guy is. See, little buddy. We have been fighting the wind like no other. We have the motor on because the trolling motor is going to die if we keep keep using it so much. And we're basically like 40 yards from the freaking rocks, bombing square bills up on the rocks, and then we'll get hung up and have to go up there and get it. And it's a mess, but hey, we're catching we're catching some fish. There's one. Another bass. I was on a chatterbait. I switched up baits. I really want to catch a northern pike. And the northern pike here love chatterbaits. And I caught a little squeak of a largemouth. Normally when you go up to a chatterbait, you catch the bigger ones, but I guess in this case, not so much. Again, white and chartreuse. For some reason they like these fruity colored baits here. That was a pike. Just giant swirl. Oh, oh, got a, got a bass. There's one. Yeah, maybe it was a, maybe it was a bass that was swirling. That's a, that's a big one. Yeah. Woo. Finally. I thought I saw a pike that was swirling away, and I, it might have been this bass that was actually chasing uh actually chasing my chatterbait. Leroy, see you later, little guy. Finally, that took I don't know probably close to an hour. Matt and I have been trying frogs, buzz baits, crank baits, different ends of the lake with nothing. 
we pulled back in this little shallow area and for some reason there was a fish there even though we've been fishing this basically the same looking stuff for the last hour with no luck at all finally found one that feels so good all right let's see if we can catch another one you got one? Oh, Matt's got a big in Woohoo! hell yeah dude Matt's hooked up his fur oh dude that's a pig yeah I'll grab oh there you go oh my that's a toad dude oh my that's a toad that's Matt's first one of the day Jesus that is awesome dude we'll throw that one on the scale for sure bleeding a little bit on the side. yeah it looks like there might be spawning the, yeah. the fins are bleeding a little bit hell yeah dude oh my God. <laughs> That's a big. All right, let's get let's get a quick weight. We got 3.20, so three and a quarter. That's awesome. Jacoby. All right. Jacoby. There you go, Jacoby. Hell yeah. Oh, feisty. That is Matt's first fish. He uh, came in clutch with a freaking chunky one. Well, this is good. We didn't think we were gonna catch a whole lot back here, and he just caught one, and I just caught one. Relatively, he's throwing a black and blue bladed crazy jig, and I'm throwing a white one, so that's good. That's a good sign. We're doing big things here. We've got our limits, 15 pounds for sure. Probably a little bit more than that. That's that's a pretty good limit, I, I would say. And it's only it's only 7.57. We've only been fishing for like an hour and a half. It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna shut up and uh, I'm gonna keep fishing. Again, still looking for the toothy one. I want to catch a pike today. That's a fish. Is he coming at me or is he big? Oh, that's a good one. He's coming right at me. All right, buddy. Whoop. Another uh, little chatter, chatter, chatterbait fish. It's a two and a half pounder. Take that little guy. We're catching, catching some more fish. I'm back here again looking for some some toothy critters and can't seem to keep the bass off my line but I guess it's not much of a problem is it that right there that is what I'm after that's about a I'd give that one like a solid 30 to 33 inch pike it doesn't look that big because I'm kind of far away from it. I can't get any closer because it's shallow that's what I'm after though right there I don't know why that one's dead but it is so they're they're back here we just got to find it we got to find one that's alive There's one. Come on, buddy. Woo! Got a little, little deep, deep, uh, shaky head fish. Oh! Not a giant, but I'll take him. He ate it. He freaking choked it. Just kind of a squeak, squeak McGee compared to the rest of them, but fishing out deep. See you, buddy. And I'm throwing a, uh, big old a big net rig out deep seeing I'm trying to find the big girls is what I'm what I'm looking for not the small guys but the small guys sometimes get mixed in with them big girls there it is all right after he ate my worm six times I caught him on the jig that's why he ate my worm six times because my worm was bigger than him but it's a good lesson just throw the jig see you buddy There's another one. That's a better one. Oh, that's a pig. That's a pig. There's a good one. Got him. I just picked up the jig and just caught fish back to back. Whoa! Smoked it! Oh, he just came off. He's a fatty though. That's back to back cast on the old jig and pig. See you later, Sean. Nice. That is two for two. I threw a worm, like a big nine inch worm and had a fish bite it off twice, cast the jig, caught that fish, I think, because it was a small guy, made another cast, and just caught another one. That's good. Wind died down a little bit, so we can actually control the boat somewhat, and we are catching some fish. There's one. That's a pretty good one, too. Stay down, big guy, stay down. That's a, Yeah, that's a chunky. Chunky fish, another jig fish. Get on here. Another freaking absolute chunker of a bass on that jig. See, buddy. We are still in the same spot. We're about to move, though. I mean, it seems dumb to move when we're catching fish, but 
I don't want to make this video too boring for you guys to watch catching the same the same size fish in the same area on the same bait we're gonna we're gonna make a move to the other side of the lake and try try some different tactics to see what we can discover two hours later there's one yep first cast finally caught a fish come here buddy Woo! smoked it there you go that's my first fish in like three hours see you see the bloody tail i think they're they're spawning she's kind of beat up a little bit there's the picture of her i added her to my eye catch tournament that's going on this week see you later girl for those of you guys who don't know, I'm hosting a tournament. It ends uh, probably by the time you've seen this video fairly soon. I think it ends the 14th, but I'm adding adding that old catch to uh, to my limit. You can win some money. I made a video all about the details already, uh, so I don't want to go too much into it, but I'll leave all the information down below if you guys want to know about fishing the nationwide tournament against me to win money. I'll uh, put all the information you need to know down below. Is it a big one? It's a jig fish, ain't it? I just got done releasing that crankbait fish. Oh, that's a fatty, dude. There you go. That's look at the football, dude. That is nuts. Look how fat these things are. That is incredible. That's a jig fish. Nice. We're getting to uh to the end of the day here. We're just gonna catch a few more fish. It is 1047. Huh? Got the release on it? Yeah, you got it. Go for it. What are you naming that one? Jared. See you later, Jared. Woo! Jared feisty. So, like I said, we're running right the day, it is 1047. And uh, we wanted, this is like the juice spot for today. And the sun came, it probably looks like a totally different day. I'm not wearing a hoodie anymore. It is sunny, it is warm, it is not as windy. It's not like tornado winds like it was this morning. And so we wanted to fish this last spot just before we take off and go home. First cast of the crankbait, I caught one and probably fourth or fifth cast on a jig. Matt just caught one. I just added that fish to my tournament that cold out a 13 incher that I had earlier. And uh, like I said, all the information to the tournament stuff will be down below if you guys want to uh, try to win some cash this week. And I'm gonna be doing tournaments every single week, so if you guys miss this one, like if you're watching this video later and you miss it, then uh, you'll, be, you'll be all right, because I'll be hosting some more tournaments. I'm gonna quit talking though. Let's, uh, let's catch some more fish. How's it going, folks? I am back home. Whoa, whoa. Okay, two uh, hornet, whoa, three, four. Okay, I definitely have a wasp nest over there. That's. It's not good at all. There's like 17 of them. Anyways, I'm going to stand over here and do my outro. Of course, you know, doing the outro off the water as usual. Just, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty, well, where's the sun? Pretty much a slacker when it comes to outros. Um, but that's pretty much it. The day started off crazy good, kind of like I expected. Just the conditions were just were just great. You know, I had a good gut feeling that, you know, we were going to catch them shallow, and we did. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to catch more numbers, but the quality, the quality was great. I mean, I caught one close to a four, I don't know, half a dozen threes, some twos. Matt caught some good ones. All of us caught fish. It was a great time, great time in Nebraska. This is, just, this is why I come back for like a week or so this time of year during the spawn, the pre-spawn. It's just, it's such a good time, it's such a good time fishing and filming and this is where I grew up fishing, that lake I fished tons and tons and tons when I was younger, 15, 16 years old and stuff like that. Anyways, great time. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as far as tips, I didn't really give you guys a whole lot of tips. And if you guys are still watching to this part of the video, you probably are wondering, Flair, where the hell are the tips? The tips are, the fish are probably pre-spawn where you're living if you're in the Midwest. And uh, get your ass up in the morning and get out there at sunrise. And that's when you're going to catch most of your fish. We were catching them shallow on chatterbaits and jigs and everything else. I mean, you guys saw in the video crankbaits. And then we found a deeper rock pile, like deeper as in 10 feet is deeper, is deep to me. Deeper, like just a little bit of an off offshore feeding spot. Like it's a little feeding zone for the fish. That's kind of what I, kind of what I think of that as. And that's where we caught some of those fish as well. No top water though. Kind of a disappoint, disappointment there. I, I did definitely expect some more topwater fish than we had. We didn't have, I don't think, any topwater fish. But you can't complain. I mean, catching fish is catching fish, right? I'm going to end the video here. But like I said uh, before, I have a tournament that's going on now. And I'm going to host a tournament. I'm going to try to host a tournament every single weekend of pretty much the entire year, different locations. Right now I'm hosting a nationwide one. I think I'm in third place. You guys saw that I submitted that one fish. I submitted all those other fish as well, uh, but I just, I, I only showed one on camera because I, I tried to explain this in the other video. Filming, filming yourself while you're trying to submit a catch is not easy. 
And uh, so I did, I just, I just showed you guys how to do that last one. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have no idea, I'll link a video down below where I explain a little bit more in depth, as well as I'll link a video down below on how to submit a catch and just download iCatch, search iCatch on the App Store. It is free to download, but it costs $5 a month to participate in tournaments. Now you guys might be thinking, why in the hell would you pay five bucks a month? to participate in tournaments. Well, you can participate in unlimited tournaments. So you could fish a tournament every single day of the year. And these tournaments, if they're hosted by me, I'm gonna give you guys some cash. Uh, the, I think the first price for this one this week is 150 bucks. So, you know, if maybe maybe five bucks a month isn't worth it to some of you, but to me, it 100% is. I pay five bucks a month just like you guys. I don't pocket any of that money at all. Pay five bucks a month to participate. I think it's fun. You could challenge your friends, uh, compete against people across the country, uh, you know, and uh, eventually across the world. I'm gonna end the video here though. I really do hope you guys appreciate what enjoyed watching this video i enjoyed filming this video i'm gonna go fishing tomorrow morning with i think matt and i think jake's gonna join me tomorrow he was sick today so he's gonna join me tomorrow we're gonna go after pigs pigs only big 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 girls like three pounders four pounders that's cool we're going after like five six seven pounders tomorrow so end the video here thank you so much for watching and peace too many thoughts on my mind i can't sleep at night so i just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine